price is ridiculous. Oh God, here we go. A thousand eleven hundred dollar computer. What we got in it? I've had this computer for about two months now. I've built it myself. Special what? Spec specifically? Oh, for business and gaming. The initial cost was fifteen hundred. I want it for eleven hundred, but make me an offer if you want to. The case screen is cracked up at the top as well as it it doesn't affect anything though I will deliver it um, so it's crack oh yeah it is right there I see that right above the uh, the cooler and the RAM it is right there you can see it's gnarly cracked I bet he dropped it. it looks like he dropped or you know what he did he probably put the panel on the ground and then was doing something and he fucking stepped on it and cracked it well, let me tell you something, bro, Josh, if you're selling this, you need to list what it is, especially if you're telling me that you want $1,100 for it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take a shot at it. You're obviously running an AMD CPU because you have an AMD cooler. I see the Rogue Strix logo in the background, so that tells me you're running a Rogue um, a Strix board. I see GeForce RTX on the side of that card, so I'm assuming... That is a, a 2060, a 2070, or a 2080. Since you want $1,100 for it, it's probably a 2060. You have a 750 watt Game Max power supply. That's very good. Although um, you have it in upside down, or yeah, upside down. The fan of the power supply should be facing downwards to bring in fresh air from underneath the case into the power supply. The way you have it, it's not doing anything except for sucking hot air in from the computer uh, which who knows maybe you can't maybe um, underneath that power supply there's no opening there's just a piece of metal so he couldn't run it that way but I'm pretty sure that you could run it that way that looks like a gaming case so uh, and it looks like a modern gaming case so I would definitely think that you could have so yeah you screwed up on installing the power supply there buddy also it looks like cable management is shit you just threw it everywhere it's mix matched as hell you got RAM red RAM uh, green and then rainbow puke and then white LED fans and then on top of that you have a mechanical hard drive in there um, so let me see here you have a hundred dollar about a hundred and twenty dollar power supply maybe a hundred dollar power supply you have a three to four hundred dollar graphics card hundred dollar motherboard and let's just say the CPU in there is 300 bucks plus the RAM that's another 200 so that's what six seven hundred dollars and you're not offering anything with it so yeah you also get the big because you don't know what the hell you're doing either jeez all these people selling stuff either overprice it or they just they they have no clue they just have no clue it's like what are you doing you know what I'm glad that you're selling your computer because you don't belong in the computer tech space if that's what you're selling shit for look at all this crap this is all crap this is all old crap nobody wants any of this stuff a 270 SLI no SLI plus motherboard that's not too bad an i5 3470 motherboard and CPU and that's okay if you want to like build something to break ooh speakers prime b450 what in the world is this oh my god Dell Power Edge. Cool. Cool, I like it. I'd buy it if I knew what to do with it. Hard drives, he's selling three of them for 20 bucks. Probably 20 bucks a piece, not for all of them, I would think. Biostar Mining. Wow, it's actually a very clean looking motherboard. Very clean. Now, don't ever buy one of these because you can't do nothing with it as far as gaming um, it just it won't it's not built the same it, it's it's just not so don't don't think that you're going to get one of these and game on it because you're not <laughs> you're not uh, let's see here what is this 
Oh, wow. Check out this sucker. This thing is... No, they talk about a blast from the past. This is like early... 2013, 2014. Maybe a little later. It's nice. It's a nice... It's a higher end board at the time of it. It has a power and push reset moss button on the bottom there. It's a nice motherboard. 120 bucks for it. It's a Z170A and for Intel 6th and 7th gen. Yeah, it's a nice board. I would like to buy that and just put it in my inventory. Just, just to have that. That thing's a relic, man. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'd offer you uh, 150 bucks. You're asking, well, oh no, you're asking 120. So I'd offer you, I'd offer you 90 dollars, and I'd come get it. 90 bucks, I'd come get. It. Oh wow, what a good deal! An AMD Ryzen 7 3700X CPU. Oh, it's just the cooler. Brand new, never used CPU cooler. I don't need it because I have a liquid cooler instead. Oh man. I thought you were selling a Ryzen 7 3700X for 60 bucks. I'm about to call you right now and be on my way. I would be on my way. It'd be my luck though that the pins would be bent in it or he broke it or he shorted it out. There's no telling with people. Ooh, here's another nice one. A Z370 for the win. Nice. What's with all the ketchup and mustard? You got a very nice motherboard. I mean, it's probably, let's see, a Z370. So that's 8th. That's 8th. That's Coffee Lake. So that's recent. That's what my Gamma build run ran off of. That was Coffee Lake. That was 8th gen. A uh, new EVGA Z370 for the win motherboard. And paired with a modern i5-8400. Wow. Samsung 97 Evo Terabyte for 120 more? No way, bro. There's no telling how hard you thrashed it, Dominic. You're asking 225 for the combo. That's not a bad offer. 225? I think you're right on the money at that at the 225 mark. Uh, let's see here. What else we got in here, guys? Make sure to leave me a like on this video. We do appreciate y'all. I hope you guys like content like this because I like to go through things like this. This is something that I do all the time. I'll go through here and look at stuff and just laugh my ass off on half of it. Here we go. Now this looks about right. It's a Ryzen 7 2800 Super Gaming for 500 bucks. Yes, finally somebody is is talking my language. Now let's let's read what he says. It's a Ryzen 3700X. It's a Cooler Master, 240 millimeter AIO. Oh God, it's it's water. It's lick. It's a all-in-one cooler. That thing got to go. That'd be the first thing I would rip out. Is that AIO? Those things suck. Uh, especially an MSI X570. Very nice. 16 gigabytes of DDR4 3600 and MSI RTX 2080 Supra very nice 500 gig NVMe 2 terabyte wait a minute he can't be asking $500 for this there's no fucking way plays yeah wait a minute wait a minute wow 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 down here at the bottom he says $1500 shipping is 50 includes tracking insurance and signature required won't let you put anything over 500 for shipping pme if interested what wait a minute. at the top he's saying 500 are you catfishing me bro it's a nice i mean it's pretty it's very basic you know i mean it's very basic uh, the, the case looks kind of cool um you know it's it's running a decent setup a 3700x that's really nice a 570 motherboard i mean that's a little overkill a 570 is way overkill for running a 37 but whatever if that's what you want to do that's what you want to do especially aio you would think you'd be fucking overclocking the hell out of that thing three corsair fans 850 watt gold power supply 
two terabyte hard drive and a 500 MVME. Very nice. Well, yeah, not too much I can say. Here we go. What's this? Wow, that thing is shoved in there. Look at that. Talk about compact, son. Um, let's see here. Hey, I'm selling my like new barely used Corsair Vengeance 32 gig RAM. I purchased this from Newegg, brand new. It arrived on September 5th, but it was actually put into my system until the 14th. What the? Who cares? What does it matter what day you got it? If it was taken care of and was not overclocked over the given and base speeds of 3600 megahertz. It has a case latency of 18. Okay, I don't care about that exactly because I'm probably going to put my own RAM in there, but whatever. Uh, I'm one of the best low profile RAM. It comes with the original box. I've never activated the warranty. Wait a minute. Are you selling the RAM? Yeah, he's selling the RAM. The Corsair Vengeance 32 gig. So it's a two, it's a two times 16 kit. Why would you sell your RAM? to your computer I mean cuz what are you, you going to do from there your that motherboard only holds two sticks so are you going you can't go higher unless you put two 30 gig sticks in there which that's just stupid running two 16 gig sticks is kind of stupid in itself um, but well I mean that's just them the reason I'm selling is because I'm parting out my stuff my PC as I've come to terms that quarantine and the problem it gave me and my family has made me become very unhealthy and I've gained too much weight <laughs> he oh my god are you seriously really bro you're blaming the quarantine on you gaining too much weight sorry dude but nobody forced you to sit there and shove your face with little Debbie cakes okay um decided that my best thing for me is to focus on myself and my health and happiness got a gym pass today and work out for the first time in a while of course my passion is for gaming and PC building but I'm putting a hold on it for now then it must not be your passion because you would do both yeah whatever all right, I've been talking for 20 minutes. I'm getting out of here, guys. I hope y'all like this one. We're going to do another one of these. Make sure to leave me a comment in below. What in the world is this? Great affordable gaming for starting gaming. Play Fortnite. Call of Duty has an Intel i7. 16 gigs of HyperX Fury. NVIDIA Strix GTX 1060 graphics card. A Seasonic G5580 Plus Gold. Three Noctua fans. Includes power cord and keyboard. Well, I hope so. Q CPU is an Intel first gen. Ouch. Two PUSC simply safe overclock. I haven't had the need to do it, but this model from the re God, man, this PC is in great. Is a great gaming PC for adults or kids. Yeah, like in 2015, bro. This is old. No, this is way old. It looks great. Like, like, did this thing come out of a time capsule? Because it looks great. I love that old thermal tape case, man. That thing's awesome. $400. Whoa. That's a lot of money. He, it's because it has an i7 and 16 gigs of RAM and a, a GTX 1060. So that's definitely worth the 400 wrong it is not honestly bro really I just want that Seasonic power supply and you know you got 128 gig SSD in it that's fine I'll take that and with that 1060 you're maybe looking at 200 bucks 300 bucks ah I don't know maybe you are pricing it right maybe it's just me but whatever all right, well, that includes my Facebook shopping for today. I hope you guys like it. Make sure to subscribe and leave me a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one.